this is Nicholas Hunter um, and I'm going to record this video for you um, in order to understand the new JSON uh, management and new the new JSON uh, calculation function that we have in FileMaker. So this video is intended for beginners and people who never dealt with JSON before, like I was pretty much two days ago, <laughs> and um, you will see that it's not at all complicated. Uh, just you need a heads up. Uh, about what's going on there with the JSON uh, management. So a JSON file pretty much is <coughs> a JavaScript file. Uh, so you can go to uh, JSON.org and you can uh, dig a little bit to understand what is a JSON file. It's not that complicated. Um, so it's pretty much it's like a mini database um, inside a text file, right? Instead of being a very complicated construction like FileMaker, for example, with catalogs and stuff like that. You have just a text file and is pretty much um, behaving like a mini tiny database um, with, um, you know, like if we want to, s to speak with the analogy of FileMaker with records and related records, etc, etc. So you can learn a little bit more about JSON uh, inside the, with this website is very cool. So um, JSON is what you get pretty much when you uh, call a service online and you call and the, the answer you will get uh, out of the call will be in a JSON format. And this is what you get uh, when you uh, you know when you receive the information. So this is pretty scary and um, so, but don't worry, it's, uh, it's not that complicated and I want to show you how. So first of all, what we want to do here, we want to clean up the, you know, we want to clean up this text and make it more understandable for human. So to do this, we use um, a function here that is the JSON format elements, okay? So uh, this is uh, this function from FileMaker will make this chunk of text much more readable for human. So let's do it. Boom. So now we have something much more understandable, and um, so and we can understand more what's going on. And you can see, for example, you have. I put inside I put you have those two created at and data and inside data you have concept and inside concept you have the chunk of data here right so let's uh, play a little bit with the function so we go to the data viewer I'm I'm encouraging you to use the data viewer as a JSON um, uh, management and you know as a JSON exploration when you want to explore your JSON file you're not sure about what you have here and you you want to explore and you want to dig in the JSON file uh, the data viewer is very very powerful so here here's the list of all the JSON um, you know um, function we have in FileMaker now uh, we have the delete element the format element the get element list view list keys and list values and set element so we are going to uh, we we just saw the format element that's pretty simple um, so we are digging uh, we are exploring more um, about the get element the list keys and list value uh, in this video we don't uh, we don't talk about the delete element and set element for now we just uh, look for um, those um, uh, get list key and list value so let's start it with the first one. So the, the, the list key is pretty much the function that will list all the, the main keys here. This is key. We call that key this. This is a key, not a key here, not a key here, right? Then those are elements. Those are values. Those are keys. Those are values. So let's go and I want to dig inside the keys, right? So what you start, you start with the JSON list key and you replace this argument here with double quotes. So here you get the first 
you know, the list of the first keys, the main keys, you have output here, and if you go down, you have status. So those two are the two main, you know, and you can see they are the same, the increment here is the same, you know, here and here, you have the same increment. I mean, they are the same level, they are the top level, okay? So, what is important to know in JSON file is, we call this with brackets. You, see, you can see here you have this kind of um, uh, character and this, you have this one, this is bracket. So when you have a bracket, that means this is what we call an array. An array, you can have multiple array inside uh, uh, an object. You know, it's inside this, inside this chunk here, you can have multiple array. Okay, this is important. Each time you have this, this is an array, and this is an array. Keep in mind the word array. It's very important for the video, during the video. So we have the first array here. So when you get an array, what, what do you get here is... So let's say I want to dig inside the first chunk here, output, okay? And then you have what we call uh, uh, an array number, okay? This is an array, so we are, we are here now, we are here, we pass the output, we are here now. And this, we have in output, that's only one array, only one, okay? So, you want to go inside the array number zero, because the first array, the first array, the first record start with zero in JSON, not, f not with one, it start with zero, it's very important. So the first, r the first array, the first record, the first, you know, uh, chunk will be n uh, number z uh, zero. If you put one, there's nothing because there's no, there's only, w there's only one array here in this demonstration. Inside this array, you have different other keys, you know. So you have created at data ID input model and status. So let's go there and see. You see, let's put this here. You have created at data ID input model and status. So inside inside this array, inside this array here, you have created at data, right? Then you go down, you have ID, input and model and status. Let's see, inside this array, this is another array. So here you have inside this array, you have status model id data created at so the pretty much the list we have here so now you continue the digging and let's say i want to go inside this chunk here because this chunk is the one that has other information down so i want to go data and inside data you will see you have concept here so you want to dig inside concepts. And here you can see that concepts, it's an array with multiple records, much more than before. This one has only one, and this one has 20, 20 records, 20, uh, 20 chunk of, of, of data, okay? So this now is cool, that I, I know how to go and how I know how to get information here right and if I'm saying okay now I want to continue the digging uh, and uh, if I want to go to the number uh, zero for example here I have other key I have uh, the app ID the ID the name and the value the app ID ID name and value right you have this and then if you want the name you type here name and then you have the name. So this, there's no more keys here. B behind this, you know, in front of it, there's no more keys. This is the last one, okay? So now that we know the keys, right? Remove this. Now that we know the keys, let's play with another function. This is uh, JSON it's the get uh, the list value so the list value works exactly the same way you go here you dig here and you have this you have you have this list of values so that's why we need 
the the list key uh, is very is very useful to use this because with this you understand what's going on, right? And the the list key it li is giving you the list of the main keys and the but the get uh, the the guest list values give you the value, not the key. So this is important. That's why we need to get this. We copy this and we put it here. And you will understand why. So now, as you can see, I'm getting the values that are inside concepts. You know, I'm output data concept. I'm getting the list. See the list here? This is the same as here, right? very easy. So now you say, okay, that's cool, but I want the value uh, from the first record, for example. So you put zero. So now you have the values of the first records, right? You have the value. All of this, you have the value of main, you have these people, 0, 99, so you have this, right? If you want the second value, just you change the number here to three, four, five, you see, six, twelve, it changes uh, depending on the value you want to get from here. So this is a list values, very important. So here you get all the value here, but they say, okay, um, now I want to get only, for example, I want people only. I don't want those, the free, I want people. So to do this, we use another uh, function that is the JSON get element. So the JSON get element is pretty much doing the same thing, right? But look at this. You go concept, you say you want the, the, the arrow zero, right? And then you want the name. Because now I'm getting, I'm going there. The get value stops here, takes all the thing he stops here at this level and, and get you all the chunk. When the get element is digging more and going to get the name. So here the choice you have um, uh, to get element like that, you know. So now you have a pretty much better understanding about what, what those things are doing. You get the list key and then this is more to explore uh, inside the list key is very important because you get the number you get all you get how many values you have inside the array uh, you know for example in the array concept you have 20 records so you know you have 20 records uh, this is very important the list key is very important because it gives you how many things you have in the chunk uh, is very important and the list value gets you the, the the number of value you have the the list of the values you have uh, inside the the the, the each uh, array number right so uh, this is this is cool because uh, sometimes you want you want to know all of this um, and then you have the the third one that is get uh, element that is digging down and and points precisely to the to the uh, to the object you want to the element you want right so this is how you get information from uh, from JSON so now it's very easy to play with this and um, so in another video uh, I'm showing you I'm, I'm showing you how to um, uh, use those uh, functions and uh, you will see that it's not that complicated thank you very much for watching and have a great day Thank you.